My name is Dane Zimmerman. Since the age of 14 years old, my passion has been playing music and collecting guitars. In 2016, after 25 years in the construction business, I took a chance and I opened my own guitar shop. Now, seven years later, it's become one of the most popular guitar stores in the Phoenix area. A great day for me is buying, selling, trading, and repairing guitars. So welcome to the Zim's Guitars YouTube channel. All right, so here we are. Part three of our video from the storage locker, testing out gear. See if these things work. They were in a locker for a very long time. Let's plug this thing in. I have a guitar hanging back here. Okay. And let's see what happens here. Does it turn on? It, it turns on. There we go. So I think it's missing the nut that fits over top of here. Maybe not. Maybe it's supposed to be like that. Let's see what happens. I think there might be a nut that's missing right there because this one seems to have one. Let's try this channel. Okay, it's missing its volume knob right there. Seems like it's working. Here's our, oh, the chorus was on. to put a uh, acoustic guitar in it and I just got my electric in here and it's also got a mic input <laughs> beautiful chorus in this in the, the Fender apps. Let's try the reverb. Alright, let's see here. Let me turn the chorus off. Yeah, so the acoustic sonic amp uh, missing a couple of the knobs, but not that big of a deal. I don't know, but it is working. You can plug your acoustic into it and play, and that chorus sounds beautiful. I'm not really hearing the reverb, but I can, you know, possibly I can. Well, I thought maybe there was a reverb tank in here. Acoustasonic Junior made in Mexico. So, this thing was in the locker. Let's see what else we got. Okay, so I believe this is the guitar that I got out of the locker. And it's been in my garage for about a week now. But it looks to be an old silver tone. And, uh... So, it's got the bridge just kind of hanging on for dear life right there, but it looks like it's all here. This is how you intonate these things. 
Uh, she's got electronics inside there. It's missing its tuners. But I think I could maybe get my hands on some tuners. So this, this old girl, this would be a really great guitar for one of my guitar resurrection videos, right? Where I take an old beat up guitar or something that I get out of the Goodwill and I try to get it going. So these frats, you know, they're, they're in old condition, you know, and I think at one time that probably had the, uh, the, uh, you know what, let me plug this in and I'm going to test on it. Okay, um, front door, somebody came in. All right, so again, let's test this thing out. See if the electronics are in it. Give me something to tap on this pickup. Easy now. There we go. Look at these original knobs on there. Okay. This thing has working electronics. So this is going to be a uh, really fun restring guitar resurrection videos. You know, I think on these frets, uh, it was probably the lacquer or whatever they used on this fingerboard. Oh man, this thing is cool and tiny. I gotta figure out what tuners fit in there. It doesn't have the silver tone logo anymore, but it does have a little gold glitter in there. This thing weighs like probably three pounds. The uh, I know that they the, some of the newer Dane Electro stuff or silver tone stuff. This stuff would all come loose all the way around here, but this looks more like a cloth, more like a Tolex. Like you'd put on your amp, then the new ones have like tape or something that they use. But yeah, it kind of looks like a gold glitter up in this area. And I'm going to polish that up real good. You got the metal or the aluminum nut in there. I'm going to polish this thing up right here. But the glitter down here on the body looks like a silver glitter. And then on the neck or on the headstock, it's gold. So yeah. Cool pick guard. Two screws holding the pick guard on there. They they were minimalist. Yeah, we could have put a screw there, a screw there, a screw there, a screw there, and a screw there. No, nah, we're just gonna put two of them, right? One right there and one right there. And again on this bridge, it lays right there. You kind of adjust this little piece of rosewood to try to intonate it. But yeah, this is your string height uh, right here. Are these two screws? This bridge sets on it. The string hooks into the bottom, and then to adjust intonation, you just kind of move this piece of rosewood around. Jimmy Page, right? Maybe he played something like this. I have no idea what year this is, but this will make for a fun video. So look for this here in the next couple of weeks or the next month or so. And then as you guys saw in the original video we've got the sans amp classic um di box i'm gonna guess no what is this thing it is a i'm gonna call it a drive pedal output presence and drive amplifier drive high in and out leave in the comics leave in the comments what you guys think is the the sans amp classic bass normal lead is it a boost pedal you got the old school input right here probably takes a battery tech 21 made in usa uh, new york city i think it's a preamp boost pedal drive pedal kind of thing the switch seems to be working so we've got that and then we've got these two Diatone overdrive pedals. Um, this one's missing the back cover. It looks like Joey put some cardboard across there with some tape. And this one has the original back plate. And these have this weird rubber gasket right here. 
So you put the battery in there, and then this rubber rubber gasket kind of fits over it like this. And I can imagine why these would kind of suck after a while and not be so good. But yeah, the gasket is broken. But Gaia Tone out of Japan. These are both made in Japan. Here's what I could do. Let, let's plug these in just for fun. Let's see if these things fire up and make noise. Here we go. Let's try these. Okay, so I got one of these adapters that goes in the normal 9 volt and so that you can insert it into this thing. So let's see what happens here. What? Okay, these don't even need that. Okay, I heard a noise. Strum the guitar a little. Okay. Not sounding like it's working. Let's try this one. Look at this for a second. Let's double check. Okay. Maybe it needs a battery. Let me see what this thing does. I have an old Duracell battery set in here. Don't know if it's juiced up. There we go. Let's see what happens. With a little battery in it. My amp is on. Okay, well with the it's getting it's getting line level. Yeah, unfortunately. I'm saying this one is not working just with a real quick test. I'm not an amp guy. I'm not a pedal builder. Let's try the second one. Oh, the light came on. All right. So this second one, though, it seems to be working. spray that out with my electronics cleaner and so yeah we got one of them that works this one you never know you spray it out maybe change out the switch or something um, I, I've got amp guys and pedal guys that do repairs for me and stuff it's it's a cool old-school overdrive pedal one out of the two works okay so this tube screamer was in the locker. Actually, I found two of them. The TS5 tube screamer. The plastic sound tank versions. Made in Taiwan. Uh, are they both made in Taiwan? What does this one say? Yeah, it's kind of dented right there where it's hard to see. But yeah. They're both made in Taiwan, so let's test this one first. Uh, this cable right here is going um, to my amplifier, so out to the amp. Okay, and then this cable is going to the guitar. So let's see if she got noise. Okay, here we go. Let's try. I think it's...
it seems like it could be working. I'm not seeing the light come on. But there it is off, and so, yeah. I might be able to spray that one out and get it going. Let's try this next one. Okay, let's see what happens with this one. So that one I think is possible to get that thing going. All right, here we go. Let's test on this one, see what happens. Okay. Um, they both work. They're, uh, both of them are in really rough condition. I think I can take my electronic spray cleaner. I use this stuff right here. And I think I can really just hose these things down with electronic spray cleaner. And I could probably get them to work. But, uh, yeah, these came out of that locker. Let's, there's one more pedal I got to show you guys. So, here we go. This is... A really interesting pedal. So this was in Joey's locker and this says Systems and Technology in Music Inc. Uh, East Kalamazoo Avenue in Michigan. Kalamazoo, Michigan. So you know what else was in Kalamazoo, Michigan, right? Yeah, we all know that's where Fe uh, Gibson was at. I almost said Fender. Okay, it takes the old school input here. So we're going to see if this is what it takes. It seems really kind of loose there. So I have never seen this, but it says bandwidth, center frequency, and overdrive. So I'm going to guess it's just some sort of an overdrive. Okay, so instrument amplifier. This one goes to the amp. Just a little practice amp down there. Don't freak out about it. Wow. It's making a crazy noise. I had to turn my amp down. Okay, let me turn the amp back up now and see what's happening. Okay, it's doing something. So there's with the amp off. not sure what that was all right guys I don't know uh, if you have seen one of these online let me know in the comments what you think it is what you think it's worth uh, it says overdrive but I don't know what this bandwidth and frequency thing is doing <laughs> let's test on it a little bit more here I know that something is going on inside here. Bandwidth, um, is it maybe some sort of a cocked wall type of sound going on? It definitely needs sprayed out and cleaned out. But uh, yeah, this is also in the locker. Okay, so the final thing that I uh, got out of the cabinet that I decided to bring to the store 
was this Duncan, Seymour Duncan Research Amplifier. And you guys can see it's actually missing the amp itself. But the cab is here. And uh, we've got a back plate right here that I believe goes right up here. And it's got a reverb tank in it still. It was packed in a box with a whole bunch of this uh, popcorn stuff. But the speaker says Duncan King Tone Classic. See more Duncan. Can you see what it says right in there? Maybe if you get real close, you, you guys can read that. Yeah, so it's a... Uh, speaker that you know it already has the uh, came out of a Seymour Duncan amplifier the reverb tank is probably still good and it's got a big giant probably what is that 12 16 inch reverb tank in the bottom but yeah this this amp was in there and unfortunately you know it's missing the whole the whole thing but uh yeah, that was pretty much it for all the rest of the stuff that I got out of the locker. Um, so all I can say at this point is, uh, you know, thank you guys for watching. And, uh, you know, rest in peace, Joey. And I want to thank his sister for selling me the locker. And uh, you guys all have a great day. And... Uh, Thanks for watching the videos. Like, subscribe, do all that kind of stuff for me. And everybody have a great day and thanks again. Thank mm -hmm. you.